My name is Sarah McFadden. I'm 22 from Castlebar County, Mayo. In 2018, I became the first vision impaired person to ever compete in Irish motorsport, and I'm now a member of the Motorsport Ireland Elite Co-Driver Academy. When she was born, we were given very negative feedback. I was told she would never amount to anything, she wouldn't be involved in sports, she'd have difficulties in school, wouldn't go to college, wouldn't get a job. I kind of made a mission, I suppose, in the first couple of weeks. I said that that wasn't going to be. Both my mum and my dad would have competed for 20 odd years. They would have volunteered for a long time before that. I didn't have much of a choice. The petrol was running through my veins since I was a very young child and attending events from about six weeks old. When I was 12, I found out that I would never be able to hold a driver's license. So growing up, a lot of kids want to grow up and, and be like their parents and they want to follow in their footsteps. And, and unfortunately, that was something I found out I wasn't going to be able to do. But it didn't necessarily take me too long to, to realise, OK, I can't drive the car, but maybe I can be a co-driver and navigator. And that's kind of how that started and I was lucky enough then. Vision impairment, especially when it's acquired, it can be really daunting and it can be such a big perceived barrier to sport and engagement and having someone like Zara on the team is such a gift for us because it's proof that you can really do anything and anything is adaptable and as much as we say it, sometimes the proof is actually what people need to see and Zara is just one of the best leaders in terms of positivity and empowering and enduring and persevering through and following your passions. My parents always kind of raised me that the things are going to kind of stand in your way with this and it's all about finding a way to get around them. It's about having a positive attitude and making sure you're looking towards kind of the future and what the possibilities are in disability I think is a really important thing. In Vision Sports Ireland and NCBI, we came up with this idea. We wanted to let people drive a car, and we didn't know how we would do that. And we, it was a lot of planning and a lot of organising, but we got buy-in from our stakeholders. Like I mentioned, where we work with NGBs, we got buy-in from Motorsport Ireland, and we ran the events with a Zero Limits Track Day, which was a motorsport track day, but a bit of a motorsport track day like no other, where in 2021, in the morning of the event, 35 people are blind and vision impaired, got the opportunity to drive a car. So for a lot of them, their first time to ever drive a car and for a lot of them, it may have been their first time in a very long time to get that opportunity. But they didn't just get to drive a car, they got to drive a car around a racetrack. If someone was driving, it came back to them straight away and they got that opportunity and they felt like their freedom was back and their little bit of independence. Whether that was just for that 30 minutes, we were able to provide people with that. But then in the afternoon of that event, we provided people with the opportunity through, through some contacts that I would have had to get the opportunity to experience being a co-driver and navigator for a day and they got passenger laps in some some really top top end cars between from Ireland and England that, that came over to the event and they got to become rally co-drivers and get passenger laps around the track so in the morning of the event they got to try out a car and then in the afternoon they got to kind of see what a car really can do and I suppose take it take a day in my life a little bit and getting to provide someone with that opportunity we would have had people from our centres here in NCBI who may be completely socially isolated, they may, they may get out a couple of times a week and all of a sudden they're driving a car and they're, they're going around in a rally car which is an opportunity that they just don't get to have and we were able to offer that. Everything Sarah does, Sarah does with a mission. She goes there to be the best that she can be full stop. She makes me proud every day. My advice is just to always get involved, like the resources are there, the education is there and, and the opportunities are there. If someone has something that they want to do, there's a million ways around doing it. It's not always going to be option A or option B, but there's always going to be a way and a means to doing something. If you have a disability and you want to try sport, just please go out there, just try it, work your way around it, you'll make it. Don't give up. Don't think anything is too much for you. There's always a way to get there. And it's something that's really important for, for people around to see, especially girls, especially girls.